Hi guys, welcome to Next Gen Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss the Hof 8.9, which has connection with the Hof 8.8. So let's get started. So in the 8.8 .8 question, we are given the delta H mix, which is the delta G axis, and we have to find the activity of zinc. So as you know, that the delta H mix is nothing but the delta G mix axis. So now we will write the delta G mix of the total solution, and we know delta S mix is configuration entropy. So we will write down the terms. Now the delta G mix excess is given in the 8.8 .8 question, so that is the part I am writing down here, and as well as the configuration entropy. Now I assume that one is aluminium and two is zinc. So we know the equation from Gibbs Johan equation that the partial Gibbs free energy of zinc is nothing but delta G mix plus. 1 minus x2 into t delta g mix by dh2, and also we know that partial Gibbs free energy is the chemical potential that is equals to the RT ln of activity. So from there we will find the activity. So I will take the constants that are given in 8.8 .8 equation as some a, b, k constants. Now I will do the calculation of partial. Gibbs free energy of second. So I have to do the differential of this part. So if, when I take the differential, it looks of this form. So first I differentiate x1, x2, then I differentiate a, x2, b, x1, then I differentiate the configuration entropy which is R T L N x2 and minus L N x1. Now I will expand the delta G mix which I written initially and I will take 1 minus x2 inside this and I will try to resolve into a much simpler equation. Now I will take this part and make it much simpler so that I can cancel out the terms. So I'll take 1 minus T by K constant outside and write down the terms. So I can cancel out few terms which I'll tell later. So I cancel few terms and now I'm simplifying the RTLN term. So this is how the equation would, would look like and I will take some constants outside so that I can simplify much further. I will take x1 square, a x1 square x2, I will add them and then b x1 square x1 minus x2. So and now I can take x1 square constant out write down the equation. Also I express the above terms in terms of only x2 so that I can plot activity versus x2. So this is how the equation would look, look like. Now the activity of 2 is of this term. We know that e power a plus b is nothing but e power a into e power b. So I can separate out the terms. And you know e ln x2 is x2. So this is a much simpler equation. And we will plot this equation. So this is the MATLAB code. You can find out in the video description. And when you plot, you will get this kind of activity.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any content that you would like to see, please do comment below.